Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Now this is a video that I shot all the way back in probably like January, end of January, maybe February, when I'm on my way to uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with Joel Hansen and George LeBianco. And uh, we decided to stop off in Erie, Pennsylvania and uh, check out the local CC's Pizza Buffet. And now it's uh, $6 for the pizza buffet. You can get a fountain drink, it'll be a little bit extra. But I think that's crazy value. Six dollars for a buffet? Like that's that's insane. Now they had a little salad bar at the start, so Joel and I took advantage of that. We got ourselves some salads. Uh, they actually had some pretty de decent options. I think they had like Caesar salad, regular garden salad, and different cold pasta salads. So that was uh, nice. And uh, we're gonna finish up that as a little starter, and then head on to the pizza. Now we did this right as they were about to close, that's why you see the chairs behind us up. And uh, there were a couple other families in there, we were just enjoying it. Uh, the great thing about CC's is you're able to go and walk up there and ask them for different pizzas that you want to have, and uh, so we definitely took advantage of that and ate a lot of pizza. Just moving on to the pizzas now. And uh, yeah, for $6 pizza, it was definitely impressive. That's about the <laughs> price of a Little Caesars pizza around here. So for a buffet, it was it was, it was pretty good quality. I mean, like, it, it's what you would expect for a $6 buffet. Like, nothing crazy, but honestly, it's not the worst pizza I've had. I've had many, many buffets where I went to, went to the pizza section and it was just atrocious but this was quality like I, I guess when you're a pizzeria and you're expecting to be offering up all this quality like this was uh, not th not that bad the one thing that I'll say is since we got there at the end we were gonna ha have to ask for a lot of pizzas to be made fresh which we were perfectly fine with you don't want the pizzas that have been sitting out there for a while but I saw that they were rotating the stock quite often and uh, yeah, I was definitely appreciative of that. Now to get into the specifics for the pizzas, they had one crazy pizza that I saw that they had, and I tried it, it was a mac and cheese pizza. So it was legit just a pizza crust with mac and cheese on top. Now it was definitely interesting, it was definitely a a, uh, a filling slice of pizza, but uh, yeah, I was expecting it to be like uh, okay, but it was actually quite impressive. It was a little bit dry, just due to the fact that it was baked mac and cheese, so you don't expect that to be too moist. But uh, yeah, it was impressive, and I've never seen a mac and cheese pizza any of any at any other places, at least uh, around here up in Canada. So going down to Erie, Pennsylvania and getting some mac and cheese pizza. As you see, I had some mac and cheese pizza right there and uh, it was definitely, uh, definitely good. They definitely had a wide range of uh, pizzas. You could even make like little specialty pizzas. We were asking for meat lovers. I think that's a spinach in George's hand, which was definitely impressive. He, I like a good spinach pizza. And then they also had a buffalo chicken pizza, which I love buffalo sauce. So buffalo chicken pizza like that, that was, it was very good. And uh, it was quite impressive. George is from bu uh, the Buffalo region and he was saying that it was, it was quite good. It was, it was okay, so. I, I definitely enjoyed it because you know, buffalo sauce is definitely something that's up there for me. They also had little, little tiny breadsticks as you can see Joel's eating those. They were, they were not bad. Uh, I'd say they're not as good as uh, crazy bread or anything like that that uh, little caesar's crazy bread but they were they were half decent like they were nice and soft and everything and nice little bit of butter and garlic and yeah they were pretty good just coming back with some refills and uh yeah I just decided to go with water. I'm not usually one to eat, drink pop or anything like that with my meals, so I just went with the water. And uh, yeah, I am uh, still pounding through on this pizza. Like it was, a, it was honestly damn good. Like, and for six dollars, I was pleasantly surprised that we actually got the, the value that we got. And yeah, it was, uh, it was damn good.
you know, it was nice to have a little buffet experience with Joel and uh, George. It was definitely a nice experience, and uh, considering now that we don't have any more buffets, it was definitely uh, something that I miss, because just going to a buffet, eating a casual amount of food, nothing too crazy. I'm not, I'm not going to go in there and clear out the place, but uh, yeah, just eating there and enjoying the, uh, the experience, and uh, hopefully soon enough we'll be able to uh, have another buffet experience and uh, enjoy some food. And now for dessert at this buffet, they had these uh, nice gooey brownies, and they also had these like cinnamon pull-aparts, so uh, they were just like, right, I think it was like, like what you would get at like Pizza Hut or anything like that, just the cinnamon sugar on top of some dough. Uh, they were pretty good, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm eating right there, I can't really see with my cup placement, that was uh, definitely a struggle there, but uh, yeah, they were good. The brownies... I'd say they were a little bit underdone, they were very, very gooey, but uh, I mean, if you like gooey brownies, you can definitely enjoy these. They were definitely safe to eat. I mean, like, they're they're okay, but uh, yeah. Uh, if you don't like gooey brownies, if you don't, if you're looking for more crisp of a brownie, they definitely are not going with that. Just coming back with another reload and uh, moving along. Joel was definitely kicking all of her butts, going ham on this because this was right before closing. Like we literally had like maybe like 15 minutes, so we were going having to go freaking rapid on this and. Uh, yeah, it was uh, fun just going up about it and eating casually, and uh, yeah, it was a fun experience. Now the great thing about it is, I've been looking for a Pizza Hut buffet around my region, and they always just seem to be closed down. They used to be one literally right in my city. And I lived there for like four years and I never went once, but literally when I was trying to go, they were shut down. So unfortunately that happened. So coming to e Erie, Pennsylvania and enjoying some all you can eat pizza because pizza is probably like one of my favorite foods. It's ridiculous. Like I can, eat, I can eat pizza like all day. I don't know why. It's just something that's just comforting about the good slice of pizza. Yeah, there used to be a all-you-can-eat Pizza Hut and KFC combination buffet in Vaughan, Ontario. I'm very highly doubtful that there it is still there. I mean, obviously, like, there's no buffets going on right now, but I'm meaning like even before the whole virus came along, I don't think they've had it for like maybe a couple years. I remember a couple summers ago I saw it on their front page or on their uh, on the on the front of their store, but I never went in. I definitely. I'm not a huge KFC fan, so that probably wouldn't have been the, the greatest, but Pizza Hut, you can't go wrong with that. Now I'd say for the round pies, they were more of a traditional thin crust pizza, but these uh, square pizzas, they were definitely uh, thick pizzas, and uh, I definitely enjoyed them because it was like soft on the out, soft on the inside and crisp on the outside, and I definitely enjoyed that. There was, I think, there was peppers, olives, mushrooms, and pepperoni probably on there. It was definitely an enjoyable pizza. As you can see, I'm just having some fun talking to George. Jules coming back with his uh, 400 refill because he's eating an insane amount of food, and uh, we're just there enjoying ourselves. I've never done a buffet or a review, I guess you could call it, or anything like that. So if you guys enjoy these, let me know, and uh, whenever the buffets start opening up, I'll go and shoot some more videos there. There's the, there's actually used to be a barbecue place in, in uh, Barrie, which is just uh, south of where I live. And uh, I was hoping to film before Corona happened. Hopefully, when uh, Corona is all gone, they can uh, open up their business again, and we'll uh, we'll go there and eat some barbecue.
anyways, after this, the camera shut off, unfortunately, so we never got the entire experience, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next Friday, and uh, like and subscribe.